So let's say you want to write a story for a movie and you actually don't have a idea or, or let's say you are uh, interested in new ideas about how to to write uh, a story so who am I as a composer to tell you how to do it the the thing is that uh, I have been doing this for a while uh, I don't know if people perceive it this but um, since uh, I think it started with my with this piece the ghost of Notre Dame where I started to to play with this idea of creating music for a story that doesn't exist yet. So this is, but this is the realization of something that I have been thinking about uh, as I was a, a student. Uh, the the idea of creating music. The, the idea of, of creating a story from the music so so, so that no, not you are scoring a, a movie but uh, that you are moving a score not a scoring a, mu a movie but moving a score do, do you get the idea that the music is there in first place that the story is uh, is inspired by the music uh I don't know how uh, well informed I I am about the about how the cinematographic um, aspects of of creating moves and and how it is done, but I I, I can imagine that this is not. Uh, it's it's uh, the the idea of being inspired by 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 something else is not new, okay. But I think that uh, to create music on purpose as an occasion for you to create a story and develop a story, uh, I think this is uh, if it's if it is not new, it's at least it's at least something. Uh, interesting and I don't do this only because it is interesting I do I do this because it just happened uh, as many things that I do I, I, I don't have any plan uh, to do something because it will please the algorithm or <laughs> something like this I, I do because I have to do but uh, in, in some case I try to create a, a, a compromise a conciliation between me and the world so to say so always when I when I achieve this I am happy but uh, the idea of uh, having music as uh, an occasion for you create a story this is very interesting and a variation of this is that the music uh, itself has already the story but we know we know this f of, of the so-called program music uh, and of the the so-called concept albums. Um, so if you don't know what is a concept al album, what is a famous concept album? Yeah, if you don't know what is a concept album, probably you don't know many albums. I think. But but a, fa a famous album would be the point of no return of Kansas. And what? Yeah, I I know many one. Ah, of course, of course. The the another break in the wall. They call it a opera, but you have to convince me that it's a opera. Uh, it it doesn't ha has the the features of being a, an opera. And and that's not a problem. <laughs> you are a rock musician. You you don't have to. You don't need to 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 prove to the world that you do operas. Okay. Um, so the idea of doing music and then creating a story with music is not so new. 
but here the the, the what I'm speaking about is a little bit different is that that I created the the soundtrack for a story that m uh, I as as a composer I am also creating in my head but not in a so specific way so so I start somehow as a joke <laughs> and suddenly the joke is it gets a little bit serious because it just unfolds naturally by the way uh, a nice example of uh, an awesome album that started as a joke is the um, thick as a brick of the jet auto and it's 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 i think it's the the masterpiece of concept albums and of p p uh, progressive rock sorry sorry pink floyd sorry another break in the wall but it's it's the, it's the composition is the is the is the art of songwriting uh thick as a brick by jetro 2 i think this is seven five um i don't know uh i guess it was ha there was a la lag here but i think now now the recording is okay so so in this album there is also a story and but it started as a joke uh, they, <laughs> they started doing this as a um, ridicularization of other progressive rock bands <laughs> like pink floyd <laughs> I just can't get it. Uh, after I read it, this I, I couldn't believe that the, the album that I'm most like of uh, Jethro Tull is uh, it. It was like a joke, a ridicularization, but but it's a kind of s very serious and competent joke. But the music's awesome. So so this idea of um, of doing uh, music for a score for a for a story that doesn't exist, but it's a, s a story that could be held in, in a cinematic sense uh, also started without pretension and 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 then later i i see no i, I think i have to to speak about this because it's interesting and and while i speak i also consider developing it more or not so for example you have this this suite of incidental music tracks that I am doing the uh, searching for wood alien <laughs> people think that are alien but it's alien and I don't know if I changed the name I don't know but anyway I started doing this and and as I do and I add more tracks I think uh, I I I start to see the the story in my head. You understand? So, for example, now I I am sure that this would be a story like searching for Wood Allen in Salzburg, because the all the tracks they have uh, they quote Mozart somehow. Okay, they quote uh, they quote a lot of uh, some some things that Moses would would do. I don't know, uh, but um, things like this. So, but but it's not. It's not. Of course, it's not an imitation of style, and I don't want this. Uh, so so I, I start adding tracks, and I see that there is a development of a of a real story in my head. So this also happened with with uh, the Ghost of Notre Dame. So this this is uh, I would call it a. Uh, a symphonic poem in a more modern sense because it's not a symphonic poem in the sense of what Liszt did but uh, I don't have all the words okay it's 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 a poem and it's symphonic uh, because it ends symphonic I, I know that it starts ju just with the organ but uh, the idea there was was also in this direction and and what happened is that I started to create a, a very precise story for the music that I composed. 
and so I, I, I put this in the description of the video but at that time I was really not so skilled yet with uh, mixing and, and mastering so this was a, a dramatic event for, for me uh, I heard I was not so satisfied and I, I, I never hear this piece again what is on YouTube because because I will hate or delete or I don't know or, or maybe I like it I, I don't know uh, I just did it and it's done um, so the idea is that uh, if you want to write a story uh, of course you, 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 you have many ideas for this but uh, you, you have I mean you have many uh, source of inspiration you, you can you can you can start in many ways of course in in one of the ways that I would uh, also invite you to do is uh, with music uh, maybe f for for some some filmmakers this is already obvious but uh, I would suggest you, you can take uh, anything for example you can okay I think I think you, you have to to maybe to like more classical music or all these genres of music that goes a little bit beyond the time to understand beyond that 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 need more time listening so classical music progressive rock etc but maybe this it's not exclusive ex exclusive to this you can take something of jazz or and the idea is that you start to relate in the the, the, the the music tracks to each other and then from there you start to create a story do understand uh, I think it's a very nice idea so it doesn't has to be with my music but of course um, I also invite anyone who wants to hear my music and maybe um, develop the stories further um, I think this is nice so so you are absolutely invited and there are many already because because everything that I, I did until now on YouTube is uh, has always to do with some poetical framing of some 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 life experience uh, or some or some uh, dream experience. Uh, my music is about life experience or dream experience that people would not call this like life experience but I think when I am dreaming I am also living but uh, y but e everything that, that I did is uh, uh, it was uh, already always attached to this uh, idea of having some story after and before yeah uh, okay it's recording so um, so this is a, a tip and an invitation so so the the tip the it's a tip okay it's a german and english word yeah tip okay so so the the advice i i, I don't give fucking advice <laughs> for a filmmaker uh the my my the suggestion the idea that uh, that i i would uh, give to you is this that you start to thinking about music in the in the possibility of generating uh, stories okay that that you that you just reverse the the process of thinking you the music that you hear it's already the um, the soundtrack of the story that you are telling it's really cool and the second thing is that um, is that the so this is the suggestion the invitation that you is that you uh, start hearing my music also with this with this in mind because many things I do exactly with this in mind not everything 
but uh, but but many things. So there is also this uh, last train to nowhere. Some old things that I did old uh, like four years old. Uh, there is a story there. There there is a, a whole potential for a sh for a short movie that uh, I personally find awesome. So so there there is there is things there so uh, so i invite you to to take a look on also on my channel on youtube and and maybe see things on this perspective and and if you hear music also by other people that you also see things in this perspective and one last thing that i don't want to forget uh, about this suggestion that i am giving is that it has a very solid philosophical fundament okay it's not just uh, something coming out of my my head it uh, even if you can't if, if it, it comes just just for from my head uh it it has already some <laughs> philosophical fundament but i mean it has from from a historical point of view it has a, a philosophical fundament because uh for niche it was very important this idea of music generating ideas and music generating words okay so if you didn't read you you read the um, the birth of music from the spirit of the tra tragedy i think so it's in english uh the music of them guys the tragedy so so there is a lot into it of of uh, of creating of of creating words, creating ideas, and then relating the ideas into stories from the spirit of music. Okay, and this is also very important for so songwriters. Okay, uh, that you can there is a whole magic in in having the 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 music first. You have just the music and then from there you start having the words yeah I don't know. Uh, see, I'm just improvising now. So, so for example, see, see my love. Yeah, see my love is gone. Uh, so there's a whole power to it because then then the words they they come together with the uh, with the music in a very magical way okay so so you, you it's always it's it's the result is way more musical and another argument for doing this as a filmmaker is come on let's let's agree the act the, the music is the soul of the story It's like the story is the uh, is the brain, the the, the spirit, but but, but the, the music, the music is this this thing always going the unconscious, uh, unless you are really skilled to invert these relationships. For 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 example, the the image, the picture can be the soul. In the case of Tark Tarkovsky, uh, why why he he doesn't has uh, so much music? Because the the picture is is so awesome. Is the picture is is a a metaphysical statement by Tarkovsky. So uh, it it is a solution of the reality. The, the picture. So 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 the picture is very musical. So he doesn't need so much music. And. And when you when you create your story from the, from the music, you have this tight relationship with the the soul of the story, 
you understand so 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 you will give the the impression that that the the music the score was perfectly comp composed for the for your story but actually it was uh, the inverse there there was this the music and you adapted uh, our story into it and the music is a very vague uh, vague f phenomenon so so you can still create uh, a lot of things that are correct and ra rational from the storytelling po point of view from the dramaturgical point of view uh, as well so you, you th this is this is also true for for creating librettos or or theater plays okay so this is another another point that uh, that you create the story from the spirit of the music then you have this tight um, relationship so this was my suggestion and my invitation is to hear my music in this perspective perspective and to hear the music of other composers in this perspective and the fundament for all this you can find for example in the in this work of uh, Nietzsche and um, and of course, he, the, the the idea is not of Nietzsche. Uh, the idea is, is really mine. <laughs> um, but 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 it has to do with this with this priori prioritization of the music. You understand? Uh, in the in the aesthetical uh, hierarchy, in the hierarchy of arts. Um, but now to tell if uh, if move your music is more important i don't want to go exactly in this d the discussion I, d I just want to to give you another way of framing the act of creating stories and another way of framing what uh, composers and especially film composers do or can do so this is the idea so i invite you to follow comment and subscribe to support and to help to the this content to be suggested uh, by the algorithm and and you can always reach out uh, i don't know i leave my comment my contact always somewhere or you go to the comment okay so thanks so much and see you